Hi, I'm Julian Grimm and this video is gonna get pricey, oh boy. But it's okay, because in my next video, I'm gonna show you a way to do the same thing in a very cheap way with things that you probably have at home. So this is a continuation of my series on live streaming, right? And how to get the sound from Ableton or any DAW into OBS and into your live stream. As I said before, I'm not super good with OBS and all that stuff, so I'm not gonna go deep into OBS, but OBS is a software that you use to broadcast your stream to streaming services like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and all that stuff. It's kind of a live editor suite where you can add overlays and different scenes, different cameras, different audio sources. It's really cool, but I'm not gonna go in depth into it. I'm just gonna show you how to get the audio from Ableton using loopback into OBS and into your live stream so you can have live streams that sound like this. My mom is telling me to Pretty cool, right? So this is directed to Apple users because on Windows, there, there are many other ways to do this, I think. I haven't used Windows in a while, but there are cheaper and easier ways to do this. But on Mac, if you don't have an interface like mine that has a routine matrix, the easiest way to do it is with loopback. It just is what it is. It's a little bit pricey. I'm Brazilian. It hurts me to buy anything. Like I wasn't raised to buy things. <laughs> Not that I steal them, but you know what I mean. I'm using the trial version to do this demo here for you guys. But if loopbacks are the only option, I guess you're gonna have to buy it. It is $119, US dollars, America, freedom. So just Google for loopback. It's the easiest way to find them and you get to their shop and you can buy the software. So if we open loopback right here, you're gonna have a clean slate probably or, or one device in there. You can ignore that device if you want or you, and just make a new one. So I'm gonna just make a new one and as you can see, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm gonna name it Ableton. And it's super easy now. You have your sources right here, you see? You can choose Ableton as a source. And as you can see the audio that I'm recording right now in Ableton, my voice, it's coming in already. So it's going into channel one and two. And OBS always uses channel one and two as the left and right of your live stream. So if we now go into OBS and we create a new audio input capture, call it Ableton, and we choose Ableton here because Loopback created this device. Now you can see the audio from Ableton is coming into OBS. You might not be hearing yourself right now and I'll show you why. If we go back to Loopback, there's this options little section here under the Ableton Live Suite source. You can just press this and unmute when capturing. And there you go. And you can listen to yourself again. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, if I open Ableton here, audio coming in Ableton, I'm gonna maybe drag some drums so I can illustrate it to you guys better. So I have some drums here from Splice. Just drag them here. And I'm gonna mute myself and put the drums under there. So you guys can see that it is the audio from Ableton going into OBS. And there you go guys, that's it. Very simple software, kind of pricey, but cool. Next video, if you're a cheap steak like me, it's the cheapest way to do the same exact thing, but we do it in the real world. We use real cables and we connect inputs and outputs and we make it work. And if you already have an interface that doesn't have a routine matrix, that might be the cheapest way to get you started on doing cool live streams with audio coming out of Ableton. If you like what I do, please press all the things that help me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.